Hi there, I'm Jen, this is Remembered Reads, and this is going to be the Literary Adventures tag. The Literary Adventures tag was created by Karen Evans, and I was tagged by her in her original video, and I tried to film this as a vlog outside, and the audio was a mess, so I'm having to redo it. So the Literary Adventures tag asks you to talk about literary-themed holidays, vacations, adventures you've had. And funnily enough, because I do travel a lot and, and I do read a lot, I haven't done a lot of sightseeing that is specifically because of something I've read. I did do the cliché, I think a lot of people who have spent any time in Canada who have gone out east, I did see the Anne of Green Gables house. I'm not sure if I even have photos of that. I think I probably have a couple of pictures from the trip itself, but not necessarily there. This is the problem with things that are in that interim period when digital photography existed. So you weren't necessarily getting everything printed anymore, but things weren't automatically syncing to the cloud. So some of these photos may have disappeared. So that is a trip that I did with uh, some friends. Aside from that, really the only intentionally literary themed things I think I've done. When I went to Vietnam a couple of years ago, I did stay in the hotel where Graham Greene wrote The Quiet American, which is the Continental that's across from the Saigon Opera House. So that was interesting. Also while I was, in, also again while I was in Vietnam, I did go on an architecture tour where one of the stops on the tour was the house of Marguerite de Ross's lover, who she wrote The Lover about. Now that was, you know, inspired by her relationship with him. The example of that era of Chinese Vietnamese architecture was her lover's house, which has a big display of bits of the book and things from the movie that was made that was based on it. So that I think counts. Although now that I say that, I guess because theater and plays are still literature, I guess any time I've traveled for to go see a play, that counts, right? Um, especially, let me see, I did go to Stratford-upon-Avon to see the Royal Shakespeare Company do what? Henry V with my ex-husband and his cousin. I think we went on the river and did a little boat trip. I probably have photos from that trip. And I mean, here in Southern Ontario, we have a Stratford that's on the Avon River that was named after the ones in the UK that uh, where we have a Shakespeare festival. So I've been there for that. So I don't know if that counts. Maybe that counts. Yeah, but a lot of it is really the opposite. Like when I was living, when I lived in the DC area, I went to see Mount Vernon, which is um, George Washington's house and Monticello, which was Thomas Jefferson's house. And I read about them because I went to the houses and went on the tours more so than I went there because I had read about them. So yeah, I don't know that that counts. But the more fun that I have is when you recognize something and say, oh yes, I have been there, um, which is, mostly big city things. No, actually, now that I mentioned, now now that I'm thinking about it, I did do another trip where it was something sort of story-based. The year that I and my school friends all turned 30, we went to Greece for a month, not quite a month, and one of the things we did was go to some amphitheaters that were places we had read about in school because we did a Greek mythology section in grade eight and we read, uh, and we read Sophocles and OAC, which is the last year of high school that doesn't exist in Ontario anymore. So I probably have photos from that trip too. I feel like I'm failing at this tag. You would think that considering that I read a lot and travel a lot, there'd be more, but <laughs> there isn't. <laughs> if you've traveled specifically to do book-related sightseeing, I would love to hear more about that because, yeah, my experience is mostly the opposite. I go somewhere and then I read about it, as opposed to I read about it and then I go somewhere. So yeah, I want to hear about your experiences. Do you, are you more like me and it goes the other way around? Or are you more like Karen and you do it that way? I'd love to hear. Anyway, that's it for now. Ciao.